never seen before. What is this? Solo Electra Mechanica. It's a little tiny single seat electric vehicle. Got a little trunk. They were, uh, yeah, we're doing similar to Tesla, so we find That's cool. What's up, guys? I'm at SEMA and uh, I spotted a cool vehicle. I think you guys will, will like this one, especially if you want to save money. Spencer, man, tell us what you got. Hey, how are you guys doing? This is a single person, fully electric car. So if you ever catch yourself in a uh, community to and from work, you realize, hey, I have four empty seats in my car. You know, why are you doing that? Yeah. I'll get a solo. <laughs> Literally just one seat and maybe a room for a backpack, right? <laughs> yeah, That's I cool. was able to fit a duffel bag, a backpack, a laptop case, all that back here. So it's plenty of room. Just to get for work stuff, right? Yeah. You can plug it into any regular 110 outlet. Charges in about six to eight hours on that 110. Uh, on the 220, it's about two and a half to four hours, just depending. So it's not too bad. Where's the charge port at anyway? It is underneath the license plate right here. Let's take a look. Nice. The J1772. So pretty standard. You know, you get one of these and most most EV chargers just mm -hmm. about anywhere. Nice. And then you said uh, max speed? Top speed is about 80 miles an hour. So take that go-kart on the freeway. You know, nice. Nice and safe on the freeway. Very okay. cool. I'm assuming it obviously has all kinds of safety stuff in here too, right? Uh, yeah, we got an integrated roll cage, uh, a roll bar right here, mm -hmm. crumble zones in the back and the front, a uh, traction control torque limiter. Uh, we have stability control as well. And these doors weigh as much as I do, and I'm not a skinny guy. So, they're pretty so hefty. you know, like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. You can see how thick they are, reinforced with steel beams coming throughout here. It's part of the safety. It does not have airbags. Oh, it doesn't so have airbags. So such a small Oh, because it's space. a motorcycle, yeah. But motorcycles don't have airbags either, and this is registered as a motorcycle, mm -hmm. right? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it keeps that registration dirt cheap, that insurance mm -hmm. dirt cheap, and because we know it's going to be a secondary vehicle. It's going to be that yeah. cool factor. It's going to be that commute to work, you know, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, we know you're still going to have that primary vehicle, so why make it just as expensive to own this yeah. as that? That's why it's eighteen thousand five hundred. <laughs> Registers and insures as a motorcycle. That's cool. That's the biggest selling point right there, guys. Eighteen thousand bucks. That's pretty good. You don't have to spend, you know, fifty, sixty, seventy thousand on a exactly. Tesla. That's cool, man. Still drive that electric car, do the environment some good. Cool. And uh, where are you guys out of? We're uh, out of British Columbia, Vancouver, Canada. Oh, it's a uh, Canadian yeah. car, right on. We are uh, actually moving headquarters down to Mesa, Arizona, and we're going to be pr uh, producing and manufacturing out of Mesa as well. Out of Mesa, cool. So it's American made. Yeah. Very cool. Right on. So let's end this with a website if you guys want to learn more. Hey, allnewsolo.com, guys. Yeah. All right, so I saw this uh, outside the West Hall, and they got a couple more models here. This is cool. This is called the Solo O2 by uh, Electra Mechanica. But this is cool. This is the convertible one, man. This is like the sporty little, you know, sunny California version, man. That is nice. Yeah, I think they said there was like a 100 mile range. It's basically like a motorcycle. It's actually registered as a motorcycle. That's cool. It's got Recaro seats in there. That's nice. I totally drive this thing, man. It's electric. At 100 mile range, two hour fast charge. That's cool. And then, if you live in a place where it kind of rains or gets windy, you want to stay out of the elements, they got a fully covered version. This is nice too. Look at that paint job, man. This is called the Crossodon. There's a the name right there Crossodon. So, you can put your backpack, your Uber Eats if you're a delivery person. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. Go to school, go to work. That is cool. All electric, again, 100 mile range. Charge it off your wall in about six or seven hours or charge it off of 220 in uh, about two or three hours. That is cool, and I like it. And it only costs 18,000 bucks. Not everybody needs a four-door vehicle to go to work. Sometimes a single seat Electric vehicles, all you need. Parking must be easy with this thing too. That's cool.